at Squamish Falls again, looking for the peregrine falcons. I'm at the Irie now. I zoomed in. I don't see anything. I've been watching the sky. I haven't seen anybody flying. And they got a fair amount of sunshine right now, but it looks like we got some weather blowing in. Some heavy black clouds coming soon, so don't know how long I'll be able to stay. I'll back off a little bit. Again, it's right here in this spot here. Looking from the handrail where I'm at, this is uh, about what looks like to my eye, right about to this right here. Maybe a little more. With my naked eye, that's what I see. That's how close it looks. That little white speck, that's where the eyrie is going to be, right in that area. And there they are. They've been working there the last few times I've came up here, but so far today I haven't seen anybody fly in. I'll back off, give you a perspective in relation to the falls now. I'm right at the handrail by the lodge, right where the handrail makes a bend. There's the water coming over the falls and there we go. I'm shooting between the two little trees here, little saplings. Got that big crack right in the middle of the cliff there, the greenery on the top and where it stops you go to the left. A little white speck and there we are. Hopefully we'll have a falcon in there with eggs soon. All right, we're going to scan around and see if we can locate it. Finally got to see the Saquami peregrine falcons are back. Oh yeah, I had a good snack there. Okay, a little more beak cleaning. It'll be interesting to see which eyrie they choose this year. Over to this side now. And all filled up. Fed up, taking it easy. Oh yeah, I hear a helicopter. That's they give sightseeing rides over the falls. Doesn't seem to bother the birds though. We did the whole nesting cycle last year and put it all on YouTube sequence so we're going to try to do another one this year we do several birds in the area and this is very exciting this is our Saquami Falls peregrine falcons scratch up. Now you can see how yellow those feet are. Beautiful bird. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the fastest creature on the planet Earth. A lot of people don't know that. Sitting right there. Oh, showing off now. Look at that. <laughs> well, it's good here. It wasn't that windy. Oh. Keep on upgrading every couple years, huh? Well, I'm going with the SX-60. It has a little more pixels on it. That's it. I wish I had this from the beginning. There's something flying. Where? Right here. Coming our way. Right straight down there. That's the other one. That's the really? mate. Yep. Oh. The other falcon just flew in. I think that's the one that went that way earlier. Yeah. And the other falcon. That other one's in the air and I just took off. Oh, did she? And oh, they're, she did. There she is. they're both up in the air. Circle around. They're going to interact now. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and the other one's flying back around in front of the falls. We'll see which ivory they go to, and then I'll zoom in on it. There it goes. All right. Going up to the other one. Up to the branch. branch. Up to the branch. All right. Might be right below here a little bit. And She's there. Still over here. Okay, this one landed on the branch now, right where the other one was. good today. The water is all clean, looks good. The falcons are all happy, they're all tucked away in their perches. We're just sitting down here enjoying it. And the people are enjoying it too, so we're going to check around the whole area, see what else is going on. Well, here we are back at the Suquamish Falls Peregrine Falconery. 
And Misty, the resident uh, Peregrine Falcon, is back again this year with a new Tercel. They raised uh, two out of four youngsters last year on the ledge. The male was in a sub-adult plumage then, but now this year the male is in his adult plumage. So we're going to see if they might fly in here any minute, maybe get them come into the hiree. And it's that time here where we got to get some eggs in here. So we're all excited about it. We're going to be uh, keeping a sharp eye out for them. And hopefully we'll get a mating or getting them both in the hiree side by side so we get a good definition on them. All right. Coming into the Irie, just landed one of them. There we go. Let's see which one this is. All right. Well, they're checking out. Should have eggs in here any day now. This year it looks like uh, Misty, the adult Anatoms, and with the adult Tundra Peregrine Falcon as the Tearsel. So somebody's calling. We'll see which one's which here. I'll try to zoom in. Oh yeah, sneaking over here. Oh yeah, this is the Tearsel. Yeah, this is the adult Tundra Tearsel. See, she's bigger than he is. Look at this here now. There they're chirping. Misty's just a little bit bigger. She's on the right side there. Oh yeah, they're talking about that egg laying, that's scraping. Well, hopefully we'll see him in. See her, doesn't have any white coming up behind her eye. That's her. That's Misty's been here for years. I mean, it's a fairly new Tearsel, the male. He's on the left there. And he has white comes up by his eye, behind his eye there. Oh yeah, now they're going to talk about it. Look at this. They want to get some eggs in there. And it's due. They're due to put some eggs in there. Oh, great. Now you can see the side. A little bit smaller on the left, a little bit bigger on the right. That's Misty on the right. Don't have any white coming right up behind her eye. That's because she's an adult anatoms. And the Tearsel this year is an adult tundra peregrine. All right, we're excited about this. We got here just in time. The mist is not too bad, so we're going to hang in here. Oh, yeah. There, they're getting right up close now, just having a good time talking about that scrape. They're still talking about it. They've been scraping here and then a little more to the right also, so we'll see how that goes. But they usually check it out in the morning like this. Now they're fairly close, they get more he's only about one third smaller than Tearsol. Again, that's him on the left, and Misty on the right. Hopefully we'll get a mating, that would be great. Yeah, they're settling down a little bit here. And they're quite a while chatting about it. Oh yeah, Misty and Victor, they're talking all about it. There she's looking down, he's got his head down. And they have scraped here before and then a little bit to the right they've scraped, so who knows, with the leaves in there, we wouldn't be able to tell if they have an egg in there yet or not, but it's that time of year. We need to get those eggs in there. I'll try to come in just a little bit more here. 
There we go. We'll keep a close eye out. I was here a little earlier, but there's more mist in here, wasn't much going on, so. I said, well, I'll come down here and get set up. It's a good thing I did because it's the first place they headed is right to the ledge. Oh, yeah. Now you can see the difference in the head markings. Nothing, no white coming up behind her eye, and now you can see behind his eye as that white comes up quite a ways. And again, that's because she is an adult anatoms and he's an adult tundra. There you can see the difference in the bar. She just flew out. Oh yeah, she's coming right towards me. And no, circling back. Circling back in front of the Irie. And I think he's going to go. He's watching. He might be wanting to go to the tree and mate. And now you can see the difference in the head markings on him. All right. And of course, uh, the old Tearsel, Velocity, he had head markings just like Misty. They were identical. And it's very easy to get them confused. This makes it a lot easier with this Tearsel. Oh, he wants some eggs in there. He's all excited about it. Oh, yeah. And he's going to go take off now, I think. How yellow his feet is, that's another sign. The males get a little brighter feet. And there he goes. I'll try to watch where he's gonna go. All right. Okay, here's the Tearsel. He flew over here now. She went up on a perch somewhere. We can't locate her. She left the Irie first, and then he came out and sailed up here, and he's just been looking around. So. We'll keep an eye on him and we'll wait and see if she comes back into the area and might go into the eyrie again. Or she may have snuck off and went hunting, so. But if there is an egg in the eyrie, well, he's close enough he can guard it, so. We're just trying to figure it all out here. It's that time of year. And they have an egg or two in there and uh, Hopefully they do, and it'll be starting to incubate fairly soon. What a great spot. Oh, yeah. He's just a checking everything out. He was in these sub-adult plumage last year, and it's a lot browner. And this chest was more uh, streaked and a lot of his juvenile plumage but he's in his full adult plumage this year so we'll keep an eye on him keep an eye on her and hopefully they'll have some eggs they have good success this year raising some youngsters all right then well here's the female we found her she flew over here now she was in the Irie and sailed out and went up here. We'll see if the male comes in for a mating here. All right, I'll back off a little bit. There's our girl. They're both in the Irie, then she flew out and went over here. And we'll see if uh, he comes over here and joins her. Maybe we'll have a mating today. couple of happy campers today. Got a little bit of mist, but not too bad. Oh yeah, getting her tail up. Oh, she might want to fly now. We'll keep an eye on her. If she gets on this limb, sometimes she'll signal and then he'll come in and mate. Definite different head markings on her. Doesn't have near as much white behind the eye. Doesn't come up there. Oh, yeah. She's looking for him. 
And there she goes. Let's see where she's headed this time. Circling around. Over to the fir tree. Going quite the distance this time. Way over. Oh yeah. Still flying. Going around the bend. She might be off on a hunt. Yep. Looks like went on a hunt. Well, here we are at Squamish Falls again, looking for the peregrine falcons. I'm at the Irie now. I zoomed in. I don't see anything. I've been watching the sky. I haven't seen anybody flying. And they got a fair amount of sunshine right now, but it looks like we've got some weather blowing in. Some heavy black clouds coming soon, so don't know how long I'll be able to stay. I'll back off a little bit. Again, it's right here in this spot here. Looking from the handrail where I'm at, this is uh, about what looks like to my eye, right about to this right here, maybe a little more. With my naked eye, that's what I see, that's how close it looks, that little white speck, that's where the eyrie is going to be, right in that area. There we are, but they've been working there the last few times I've came up here, but so far today I haven't seen anybody fly in. I'll back off, give you a perspective in relation to the falls now. I'm right at the handrail by the lodge, right where the handrail makes a bend. There's the water coming over the falls and there we go. I'm shooting between the two little trees here, little saplings. Got that big crack right in the middle of the cliff there, the greenery on the top and where it stops you go to the left. A little white speck and there we are. Hopefully we'll have a falcon in there with eggs soon. All right, we're going to scan around and see if we can locate it. Now well, here's one of our peregrine falcons. It's in the big snag tree across on the other side. That's the farthest they can land, so... That seems to be their lookout tree. I've been here for... <laughs> Over an hour or so, I haven't seen any of them, and all of a sudden this one appeared in the limb, so... Again, that's the lookout tree, clear across there. Happy to see one of them show up here. Alright, well, I'll zoom back in on the Irie, because if the other one shows up, they may interact in there. I'll back off a little bit and give you an idea how far that is. That's an observation tree all the way across on the very top. There we go. I'm over here by the lodge, so that gives you an idea about how far it is over there. My goodness. All right then. Here's one of our peregrines searching for the mate. One was in the dead snag and uh, now we got one here, so we'll check out. No activity in the nest yet. Usually they fly in, scrape around, and do their little display and talk to each other. I haven't seen any of that today. Just kind of sitting up in the tree here, taking it easy. But very alert. Head looking over the back, to the left, to the right. Always looking for the mate. Looking forward to a good nesting season. We'd like to see them get about four good youngsters in there and have a raise a full clutch this year. Last year they lost two, but that Irie was a little bit precarious. And a lot of it has sloughed off. It's even narrower this year, so we had a little erosion. Slipped off the cliff there and not much left of it. They're better off on this one. It's better for us, too, because it's a lot closer, so... We'll check that out. Looking straight over here now. Now looking downstream. Well, if the oven sails in and comes up by the side, we'll get a size definition. Oh, going to scratch up now. All right, and there he goes. Well, the peregrines flew under the rainbow. They went downstream, so we'll see uh, when they come back. 
they circled above my head, they were e-chirping and uh, then took off downstream. So we'll watch for them to come back. Here they both landed, look at that. All right, now here we go. Both peregrines just landed in the eyrie. This is the close one. We're all excited. Had to run a bald eagle out of the area. Like to go a little e chirping there, talking all about it. Well, we're familiar with this eyrie. They use this one. We're happy because it's closer. They're making the scrape. They're getting all settled in here. We certainly like that. My goodness. Yeah, there was a bald eagle down there in the river and they took out and run that one out of the area. All right. Well, I saw a couple of seagulls and nothing happened. They tolerate those, but that bald eagle, that was it. We're sure happy. Got them sailing in here. They're just talking about it. So this be the place for the nest now. And they don't use sticks, they just scratch out some gravel, make a nice impression, that's where they put the eggs. They've nested here for many years, so they've had great success here. And you hear the falls, it's flowing pretty heavy. We had a lot of rain and stuff. So it's uh, picked up a few more inches going over the falls. Oh yeah. These guys are getting along really good. Look at this with you. They're talking about it. And I couldn't be happy because I prefer this nest because it's a lot closer than the other one. Yeah, they're talking all about it. This looks like a good place for us this year. Now the female will be the bigger one. The male's a little bit smaller oyster birds of prey, so we'll check it out and see which one's doing the scraping and which one. Yep, making that scrape. Standing back up. Oh yeah. Busy here at the Irie. My goodness. Down for the next scrape. That'd be better because it won't be behind the grass so much. We'll be able to get a better view of it. Well, here's one of our falcons perched in the dead snag across on the other side. That's one of their favorite perches there, too. All right, this one flew in here on the ledge. Good meal here. My goodness. Good sized prey. Food stash good enough. Don't want any crow rain getting it. They watch pretty carefully around here. Yeah, it's kind of looking around again. See where the white marks come almost up as high as the... He's up there half a... Okay, looks like they'll sail back into the area and there we go, a landing. All right. <laughs> He just took off and made a flight, made a circle on his calling, trying to call the other one in, and landed back in the Irie. Earlier, I didn't see anything. I think he was laying down on, right up against the rock. So they may have eggs in there. It's fairly cool. How great is that? We saw him take off, sail downstream a little bit, circle around, come right back in the Irie again. Now we'll wait and see if she shows up. Okay. Those bright yellow feet. Good healthy male here. Now he's... Oh, and off he goes again. All right. Yeah, he's sailing around trying to get encourage her to come in. We'll see where he goes here. All right, he's going downstream again, making the same circle. Circling up a little higher now. 
<laughs> okay, she's in the air now too. She's the bigger one. I see her. They're circling together. He's trying to lure her back over to the nest now. I'll back off just a little bit here. There we go. And there's one came in. That's him. He's called her in. And there she is. She's landing. Now see, she's bigger than he is again. There they're talking about it. How great is that? Oh yeah, he wants her to put some eggs in there and they're just a chattering about it. Okay, we're going to stay with him. We're waiting all morning for this. And there she goes off. He's watching her take off and we'll see if he goes. Okay, he did fly out twice and call her in. He's staying there in the eyrie right now, right in the nest yet. And let's see what happens here. He's got his head down. He might be ready to take off. And there he goes. All right, we'll watch him come straight across the cliff here. Oh yeah, Peregrine Falcon finishing up her lunch. And good yellow feet. Looking pretty healthy. Males off doing his thing. He was sticking close to the iry, so kind of figure they may have an egg or two in there. And I'll see how long he stays away, but when it was colder, he was right there. So but right now it's feeding time, so it's time for her noon meal, and we'll see what happens. She's finishing it up. It was a pretty good uh, sized breast, or I think it was a pigeon. <laughs> We've been trying to get some good shots here, but that wind keeps picking up. So far, we're doing pretty good. You see her head markings now. It's female. And there she's just eating away. She's an adult in autumns. That's why she's got that helmet head shape with her. Doesn't, white doesn't come up right behind the eye like it does on the tearsel. He's an adult tundra, of course. Anyway, that's the way it's going here this year. And this is a happy girl here. has got a good-sized lunch going. Oh, yeah, she's just chowing away. Having a good snack. Okay, looks like she's finishing up here. She's going to clean her beak a little bit. Back off, see what she's going to do here. Oh yeah, she's rubbing it this way and that. Want to get that beak all cleaned up. I'd like to see him come in and mate right about now. That would be great. I'm not sure where he's at. He's in one of those perches over there. She's looking around. Alright, she's going up there in a comfortable spot. Still cleaning the beak. I'll come in a little bit more here. Still staying busy. Got a nice mossy perch here, easy on her feet. Had a good feed. The male's been doing all his duties in and out of the iry. And she came in and they had a big powwow about it. They flew around, interacted, calling. And then she had her feed. Now she's, uh, oh, there goes a the feather. Molded one of her feathers. Now she's just kind of sitting up here looking around, taking it easy. Beautiful markings. Doesn't come up behind the eye, the white marks, see, on the female. That's how we can tell them apart this year, real easy. Past years, the, the male and the female had the same head marking. Not this year.
Oh, yeah. She's been here many, many years. Oh, my goodness. 2005 and probably before that. So she's uh, raised many youngsters here. Had to change males, though. And that's where we're at this year. And last year. This year, the male's in his adult plumage. So. They're happy now. They got everything going their way. And probably got an egg or two in there already. I was watching him in the iron, just watching the iron, and he just kind of appeared right out of the rock. So he was hunkered down here. I was really looking really hard to find him this morning. So. He just kind of just stood up, and there he was. All right, then. He's back in there again. We turned the camera back on. We had a little wet mist blowing, so we turned it off, and sure enough, there he is again. Well, they're sticking really close. That tells me it's a good sign they may have an egg in there. He doesn't uh, stay away very long, so I'm going to watch him and see what he's up to. Okay, he's coming to the edge again. He's getting ready for the launching pad. Let's see what he does here. He wants to preen up a little bit. Well, we like that. The wind settled down, he's going to preen up. She's off doing her thing. I'll come in a little more here. There he is. We'll scratch up a little bit now. Work on those feathers. He's staying real close to this spot. He's all excited about something. We may have an egg in there. He called her in there just to talk to about it. But he keeps, he just flies away and comes right back. He's not gone very long at all. So that tells me they may have an egg in there. And they stick that close to the diary. That means they got something of value there and that's an egg. All right, I'm gonna preen up, we'll watch him. getting a little bit of mist again. That wind really gets the blowing. That kind of messes us up here quite a bit. But we just have to tolerate it. And the falls is really flowing again. We had that little extra rain and that river swelled up a little bit. And again, this is a pterosaur. He's preening up, staying close to the nest. One egg, raven's ring, sneaking in and getting that egg. Okay, and there he goes again. All right, we'll watch him. We'll see where he goes. Happy camper here. One circling over my head calling, this one flew in. Left the perch up there, that dead snag. We we'll have a little more activity here in the islands. Sun's out, drying up a little bit. Oh yeah, still looking up and calling. Well, we got here at the right time again. As soon as the sun comes out and warms up a little bit, they get active. Trying to make some Easter eggs. They're getting all excited about getting their little site here, the little scrape ready for the eggs. I think they're right around St. Patrick's Day. And get some eggs in there. Oh yeah, just a calling there. I 
didn't see the other one. It was circling around above me. It must have went off hunting. I thought we were going to come in on the eyrie. They talk about it a little bit. It's a daily thing. A couple times a day they go in there and do a little more scraping, get everything prepared. Oh yeah, we like that. Turn around now, the fog's lifting a little bit. Thinks he's going to get ready to take off here. Walking to the edge now. There she goes, sailed out. Well, she flew out now, so he just flew back in the iry. Till it's him, look at the white coming up behind his eye there. Her head markings are not like that. Okay, he sat on that perch for quite a while and he took off and sailed right in here. He's been calling. Hopefully she'll come in and uh, check him out. We're really curious to see if there's any eggs in there yet. But he's been keeping a sharp eye, watching the eyrie a lot closer now. So I'm thinking maybe they have at least one egg already and they're trying to get their clutch together. And it's got to be one on guard all the time so the crows and other birds don't get it. And there he goes. He's off again in search of her. And there we go. Oh, we'll try to see where he goes. He's off on the hunt, looking around. Circling back. And going back to his perch. Alright. 